while he and his wife Megan appeared on the cover of Time magazine, after making the list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Last week, Harry had a 37th birthday party. Royal experts also speculate that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will one day return to the UK before Christmas, so their three month old daughter Lilibet can meet the Queen for the first time. Harry and Meghan have caused an alleged drift within the royal family following their unprecedented decision to step back from high-ranking royal duties in 2020 and move to the US with a new life. Despite having left the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle cannot be blamed for continuing to use their royal titles, a royal commentator claims. The Sussexes then took part in a two-hour interview by Oprah Winfrey with CBS in March, where they claimed their time in the company allegedly increased tensions. However, despite leaving the royal family, Harry and Meghan continue to use their royal titles, and was made the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. One commentator insisted that Meghan and Harry can't be blamed for using their royal titles. Speaking on Channel 5 the documentary Fergie and Meghan, Inconos System Royals. For Meghan, Cher's still married to the prince you can't get away with that, freelance journalist Tua Ratabayo said. Obviously none of them use their HRH titles anymore. Having that attached to you, you can't almost blame them for using the title that you both still have legally. Both Meghan and Fergie are Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Fergie, Duchess of York. Since February 2020, when the Sussexes announced their departure from the royal family, they have set up production company Archwell, and agreed multi-million pound deals with Apple TV, plus Netflix, Spotify. Harry has also announced that he is writing a completely honest memoir that will likely be released in 2022. All of the Sussexes confirmations are said to have put a strain on their supposedly strained relationship with the royal family. Meghan has kept her royal title. Dr. Anna Whitlock stated on Channel 5 documentary that it makes absolutely sense from a commercial perspective. Says Dr. Whitlock, commercially, it makes perfect sense to have those titles. There's been the establishment of Archwell Productions which is the means in which Harry and Meghan make money. One of the reasons they decided to leave the couple's company was so that they could be financially independent. Ms. Adebayo added that Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, who divorced Prince Andrew in May 1996, was the commercial blueprint to make money after leaving the company. Fergie is the designer, Adebayo said. She was the first to make a living outside the royal family and to continue to do that. She was the first to do it. Especially after the Queen publicly said she would not be responsible for Fergie's debts. According to The Telegraph, and also released her memoir My Story, she then landed a £1.7 million, £1.24 million deal with Weight Watchers. The Duchess of York is famous in several advertisements for ocean spray cranberry juice. And someone said that, colon. A wrong they left for a private life, and then trashed the family, accusing them of being non-supportive, racist and feeling trapped, so they should voluntarily give up their titles, never mind not use them. So what do you think about that? Question mark.